Yeah, Paul and Jess, these two guys right here, father and son, are fighting every day to make life as normal as it can be for Tony. And a lot of that includes that whiteboard for speech and communication. Now, it takes a long time for us to communicate and get things across to each other. But he works at it. And working at it includes anything from pointing to sounds and even a few words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last month, Tony Pepper fell from a tree helping a friend trim the branches. Fell on his back and right side. He broke three ribs, punctured his liver. Tony, a Chandler firefighter and normally a first responder, was now in need of his team's help. And they came running as soon as they got the call, putting their emotions aside. At that point, you have to put that out of your mind. At a later point, you can step back and look at who it was and, and deal with that at that time. Tony was flown to OU Med where he then had a stroke, but his parents say somehow with prayers and determination, he pulled through. He's been home for almost a week now, and even with brain damage, he's making progress daily. Mecca Rain. Oh, thank God. KOCO 5 News.